In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a ROS to launch file with XML. So even though launch files seem to be in Python by default with ROS2, well, XML is coming back strongly. And for most common use cases, you will see that it's going to be actually much, much easier for you and probably 10 times faster to write. And if you come from a ROS1 background, then it's going to be very similar to what you've done previously. All right, let's get started. And the first thing we will need to do is to create a package, okay? We will put the launch file, the XML launch file inside a package. So I have already a ROS2 workspace, okay? And in this workspace, I have a source folder. So I will create a new package here that, so I will do ROS2 PKG create that I will name my robot bring up. Why this name? So this is a quite common convention is so you just put the name of your robot first or your application so here let's say my robot is named my robot so i just put my robot with underscores and then bring up for the end okay so bring up if you see a bring up package it means you have launch files inside this package okay so that's a convention that i recommend that you follow so ros 2 pkg creates my robot bring up and then well i'm not going to add any dependency here because anyway, we are not going to use the package as a standard Python or C++ package. We are just going to modify it. So I press enter here and well, that's, that's okay. I have a warning for the license, but no problem. And now if I go inside my package, my robot bring up, what do I have here? So you can see this is a simple C++ package with a source include folder and a cmaclist.txt plus package.xml. So I'm going to remove the source and include like this. So remove with recursive include and source. And now I'm going to keep my cmaclist.txt and package.xml. Okay, very important. And I will also create a launch folder. Okay, and I'm going to put, I'm going to go inside my launch folder here and I'm going to put my launch files right there. Okay, so let's create a launch file. And we are going to configure everything a bit later after we write the code inside the launch file. So let's create a file and let's just name it demo.launch.xml. Okay, so make sure you have this extension here. So .xml, but not only this, you have .launch.xml. And if you have written also ROS2 launch files with Python, it would be .launch.py, okay? So you can see you just modify the end of the extension .xml to make an XML file. I'm going to create this and now I'm going to go to my, so to VS code so I can actually edit the file that I've just created. All right, and now let's start to write our launch file with XML and let's just do a very simple example where we will start two nodes. So the first thing we need to do is you need to add a launch tag, so open and close a launch tag okay that's important that's the first thing to do and everything you're gonna put inside your launch file will be in this launch tag okay then you can add so i'm gonna add an indentation it's not really required it's just for readability and if you want to add a node so if you want to start a node then you just add a node tag and you will need to put inside this node tag pkg for package and so let's just put pkg is equal to and Inside of double quotes here, I'm just gonna put demo nodes cpp. Okay, so I'm gonna get the talker and the listener examples, okay, that you probably already know. So the talker node is just gonna publish some data. The listener node is gonna subscribe and listen to this data. So I'm using already existing packages and nodes here just to go faster. We have this, uh, the package. What we need to start a node, we need at least the package and the executable. So I'm gonna put exec here and it's going to be torque and now i can close you can see i can close the node tag with just this so i can close in the same line all right and with this i just have already one node so if i want to add another node i just put node pkg so let's use demo nodes let's use demo nodes py to use a different package so that one was the c++ package and that one the python package not really a problem exec listener all right so i have two nodes it's just if i was running uh, ros to run with this package and then the executable twice okay and you can see well the launch file is very very small 
if you compare this to a Python launch file, that's super, super small and super simple. So I'm going to keep it like this for now and I'm going to save. And now let's actually install this launch file and let's run it. So the first thing we are going to do is because we are actually using executables from other packages, I'm going to add the dependencies to those packages here. So I will go to my package.xml for this robot bringer package and I will add here after build tool depend and maybe other dependencies that you have, I will add exec depend and then that's going to be demo nodes cpp, okay, exec depend and I add another one, exec depend for demo nodes py, all right. Let's save this one. And that's it for the package.xml. So any new package that you use from this package, you add the dependency here. Now let's go to the cmakelist.txt. And well, I don't want this. Let's, I'm just gonna remove to clean a bit. So let's remove the test stuff and those comments. And we only have one thing to do here. So after the find package here, aim on cmake and before, the aimant package uh, call here, the function call, I'm going to put install and I'm going to put directory. So uppercase directory like this and then go back to a new line and I'm going to put what? So I'm going to put launch and then destination with share slash and then dollar sign with curly brackets and project name. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I did here and another slash at the end maybe. So here you say that you want to install the following directories. So the directory, we, on, we only have one, so that's gonna be launch. And you put launch here because you have created a launch folder. Okay, that's because it's the same name here. And then the destination is gonna be share. So usually you will install the launch folders inside the share folder in your install folder of the ROS2 workspace, okay? So it's gonna go in the share and then project name is simply the package name. Okay, so inside share, my robot bring up, you will find the launch file. And actually you will not need to find them because when you do Rust to launch, it's gonna directly find them for you. Okay, and this install here is the only thing you need to do in the cmakelist.txt. And then, well, you don't need to touch it anymore because anytime you add a new launch file, well, you just build again and well, you don't need to touch the code, it's gonna install the new launch file as you go. Okay, so the package is correctly configured. Now I will open a terminal. So let's go back here. Let's go back to our ROS2 workspace and let's do callcon, just gonna be clear, callcon build. And I'm just gonna do also packages select. So I just build my robot bring up. Okay, and it's quite quick. It's just a few files to install. So basically to move around. And now what I can do, so I can just start actually from this terminal as well. Let's source uh, the install setup bash. So let's source the workspace and now I can do ROS2 launch, my robot bring up. And if I press tab with demo launch XML, I can find demo launch XML. And so I can just run this and you can see we have two nodes, okay. Um, you can see publishing, subscribing, etc. And here, if I do ROS2 node list, you can see I have my listener and my token node. And if I do ROS2 topic list, you can see that uh, they are publishing. So the talker is publishing to Chatter and the listener is subscribing to Chatter as well. So everything is working well. I'm gonna stop this. And well, the launch file is correctly working and you have written your first launch file with XML. And as you can see, that's actually super simple to do. And now, well, I have uh, done this ROS2 node list and ROS2 topic list. Why? Because we are actually going to come back to the launch file and see how we can rename the node and how we can also do some remapping for the topics. Or it also can be remapping for the services or the actions. So let's do that. Let's change the name of the node first. So we have uh, talker and listener. Let's say you want to change the name of the node what you can simply do is after pkg and exec, you just add another attribute here, name, and then you put, let's say my talker. Okay, just for the sake of it. And here I can add name is equal to my listener. Just like that, and you have renamed 
the node. So when you start, when you start the launch file now, if you do ROS2 node list, it's gonna print my listener and my talker. As simple as that. And now if you want to remap a topic, then in this case, you will need to open and close the node tag. Okay, just like we have the launch tag here where you can put stuff inside, we will need to do the same for the node tag. So instead of closing it here with just one line, I'm gonna just remove this slash and close the node like that, okay? So everything here, package, exec and name stays there. But then inside the node tag, I can add a remap tag and I will have a from and I will have a to like that, that I can also close like this. And well, as you can guess from, that's gonna be from what topic uh, name to what topic name. And so the topic name here was chatter. That's the one I want to rename. So let's say I want to publish not on chatter, but I want to publish on my chatter. And so when I run the launch file like this, it's going to, well, it's going to run the node my talker and it's going to also publish on my chatter instead of chatter. So if I do this and if I want the application to still work, I will also need to add the remapping rule to this listener node because, well, the listener is gonna uh, listen to chatter topic for now. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna just make the node tag like this and inside it, I'm gonna add the remapping rule and let's just copy it here because that's the exact same one. All right, so nothing really difficult here. And I save the file and let's go back here. Let's build again. I build, I source and I run. And let's see what we have. ROS2 node list, we have my listener and my talker. And in ROS2 topic list, we have my chatter. Okay, so it correctly worked. All right, and one last thing I want to show you is how to add a parameter for a node. Okay, so if you have declared some parameters in your node, then you can start them at uh, runtime with ROS to run, but you can also add them directly from the launch file. And once you have this structure, it's actually super easy because in the node tag, you just add another here, param tag, okay? So make sure you open and you close the node like this, and then you can add a param tag for each parameter that you want to add. And so here you will need to have name, that's gonna be the name of the param, and then value. Okay, and so let's say that we have declared uh, param one, so those are fake ones, but just for the, the example. So we have declared param one, and the value is uh, test. That's a string, okay, that's a string parameter. So I just put name like this param and value test. Now let's say I add another param name, let's call it param two with a value and let's say 1.0. And so this is going to be actually a float number 1.0, but make sure that you have the quotes still. Okay, in XML you need to put the quotes. All right, and here you have two parameters. And so make sure that the parameters you actually put them inside the node, okay? Uh, just this parenthesis, because if you come from the ROS1 background, you would have put the parameters outside of the node, okay, in the global scope. But in ROS2, parameters are nested inside nodes, so that's where you're gonna put them. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.